the dry ingredients, it's time to put the wet ingredients in a different bowl. So a third of a cup of your choice of milk. I chose almond milk. Oh, that kind of smells good. <laughs> and then a third of a cup of maple syrup. I chose sugar-free maple syrup just because it's on the lower calorie side, but regular maple syrup is amazing. And to be honest, I like a little bit better. And a fourth of a cup of applesauce. Make sure it's unsweetened, just pure apples. Baking sauce. Yep. And then a teaspoon each of apple cider vinegar. Oh, that was a little bit over, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. And then a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Perfect. And we mix it all up into a nice mixture. I should have chosen a bigger bowl because it's really easy to spill off this bowl. So make sure it's nice and evenly mixed. And then we add the two together. might be kind of runny but that's completely okay if it seems too wet then you can add a little bit more of your oat flour it's not really a big deal now we transfer over to the parchment paper. are going to be the top and the bottom layer of our ice cream cookie sandwiches. You want to make sure they're, they're flat and that they're quite big because you want to put a decent amount of ice cream in the inside. So since they're quite wet and sticky, the way that you push the cookies down is just dips the end of a spoon in water, not too much, and then you can use that to flatten them and that water will prevent the cookie I'm sticky and we'll flatten them out. Easy. Now once you do that, you can pop them in the oven and then you can make the ice cream. So for the ice cream, we're gonna make it vanilla flavored. I do have other flavors, so let me know in the comments if you would want to see a different flavor ice cream recipe because I can easily tell you those recipes. But for the ice cream, you're gonna have a one full can of coconut milk. Whoa. In a blender. Then three tablespoons of your type of maple syrup. I chose sugar free again, but once again, you can choose regular. So three tablespoons of that. Then two tablespoons of your vanilla. And then, I like my ice cream sweet, and these cookies that I just made are not the sweetest because I like the ice cream a little bit sweeter. So I chose to add a tablespoon of sweetener of choice. You can use any type of sugar. I chose stevia just because I like to, and I don't mind the taste of it. And there you go. And also a pinch of salt. a little bit, then you're gonna blend that up. So then I just added that mixture into a freezer safe Tupperware, and I'm gonna place that in the freezer. And every hour or so, I would give it a stir, just so make it less icy and more of a creamy ice cream. And once it's the consistency that you like, then it's ready, and you can add it in between your cookies. So let's place that in the freezer. Here is the final result of the ice cream. It's so delicious and so yummy. So you can freeze it a little bit more if you'd like, but I kind of like it just like this. And I'm gonna place it in between 
those cookies that I made prior. Add the two together and look how amazing that looks. It's delicious. The ingredients are amazing. And I believe it's under 300 calories as well, which is insane. <laughs> so enjoy your cheat meal. Let me know what kind of videos you guys wanna see next. Have a good one. See you next week.